You'll be an evangelist. You'll be an apostle. You'll be a missionary. You will be the, you know, Sunday school teacher in your locality. And then you will be a person that is employing people. In five years' time, this is where I will be. In ten years' time, that's where I will be. Then you'll get married. I said you'll get married. And then children will come. And you're not going to be a tenant forever. You will not be a tenant forever. You, t you, you make up your mind. You don't, you don't get what you don't seek for. Search and you will find. You know, you will never know there's land in that your community until you begin to say, I want to build a house. You'll be just passing by and you'll say, every place is filled up. Every place is filled up. But one day, you just wake up and you say, ah, I want to build a house. The moment you say, I want to build a house, you begin to look. And you will see what you never saw. You see, when there is no goal, when there is no vision, you will not know the land is there. But all of a sudden, when you just say, I want to build a house, I'm not going to be a tenant forever. All of a sudden, you know, people that talk to you, they'll be talking about land. You're surprised. And they'll be talking to you for years. They never talked about land. But the moment your mind is made up, that's my destination. I want to build a house. I'm looking for land. This one's talking about land. And then in that same community where you didn't know there was land, land will show up. And then eventually, when you know the why, it's now the how. I'm looking at the land. How will I pay for it? How? How? how you graduate from why to how and then you will know the how the lord will give you the wisdom it will give you the breakthrough after the how the next question is when am i starting the land is there now i've now checked off from the you know land speculators estate managing people and they have shown me it is free i can get it i've made up my all my speculations and i see everything is all right the next question is when when and you know if god helped you to answer the question why he helped you to answer the question how the question as to when it will come i said it will come now we're free to succeed now we're free and the sky is the limit why don't you rise up and begin to ask the question why why are you free why are you free why are you born again why are you delivered why are you set free why are you married why do you have children why, do, why are you in a church like this why do you have all these opportunities why where are you going what are you going to do what are you going to achieve why was the purpose of your life the purpose of the freedom and as you determine you determine in five years time by the grace of god i'm going to be a full-time worker in this church in five years time by the grace of god i'm going to be an overseer in five years time by the grace of god i'm going to be a preacher an evangelist a missionary in five years time by the grace of god i'm going to graduate i'm going to have that new certificate in five years time by the grace of god i'm going to pack to my own house in five years time by the grace of god i will not be in the employment market i'll be an employer in five years time by the grace of god i'm going to learn this particular trade and i will excel in it in five years time by the grace of god i leave the public transport to the rest of the people i will have my own means of transportation in five years time by the grace of god the freedom that i've got today there's the way i'm going to use it the work i'm doing now i'm going to be promoted in that work i'm going to excel in that work i'm going to learn more i'm going to learn and know more i'm going to do more i'm going to achieve more
In Jesus' name we pray. That's good, but you can do better. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we have a glorious future. And with Christ and you, you cannot fail. For the promises of God going with you, you cannot fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. There is a ladder that the Lord has put before you. And you have started to climb. You will not come down till you get to the top. Spiritually, you will be on top. In your health, you will be on top. In freedom, you will be on top. In your profession, you will be on top. In your family, you will be on top. And you'll be on top in every area of your life in Jesus' name. Now you are free. I said now you are free. I said now you are free. You are free to go out and succeed. You are free to go out and prosper. You are free to go out and overcome temptation. You are free to go out and succeed. You are free to go out and be an employer. And you are free to go out and be all that God has created you to be in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Everybody, you raise up your hand now. You have given your life to the Lord. Something good has happened to you. And what a wonderful day. That now you're starting something new. Forget the past. Bury the past. And resurrect the future. Don't look back again. Don't let the regret of the past. Spoil the reality of the present. There's a glorious day. A glorious time. A glorious era. A glorious opportunity. The tears of yesterday should not cloud our vision. The depression of yesterday should not disturb the delight of today. The discouragement of yesterday should not stop us from the enjoyment of what is available today. Yesterday is gone forever. This is a new time. And now you are new creatures in Christ. The past will not tie a rope on your waist and be pulling you back. Now you are a man of the future. A woman of the future. A young fellow of the future. A youth of the future. They talk about failure. You say, no, that's not for the future. I'm a man of the future. They talk about poverty. You say, that's in the past. I'm a woman of the future. They talk about heartache. You say, no, that's not. That's of the past. I'm a man of the future. And they talk of all the sickness. You say, no, that's of the past. I'm now a man of the future. Are there men and women and boys and girls of the future here today? The future is always what you are looking at now. Stop looking at the back. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because you have lifted up your people. You have raised us up. You have broken our chains. You have snapped our fetters. You have removed all the limitation. You have set your people free. And I pronounce and declare you are free indeed in Jesus' name. Those who came here as sinners, you are not children of God. You have left the old past, old past of sin, old past of evil. You have put your feet on a new road. This new road will take you to the glorious future. All the chains and the shackles of the past, I break from your life in Jesus' name. The fears of the past, the anxiety of the past, 
the worries of the past, the enmity of the past, the oppression of the past, the sickness of the past, the intimidation of the past, the discouragement of the past, and the vanity of the past, the poverty of the past. I remove them away from your life in Jesus' name. All the burden of the past, all the load of the past that weighed you down. And yesterday always spoiled today. And yesterday always encroached on today. And then at 30 you are looking like you are 54. And then at 54 you are looking like you are 81 already. Your head, your head is bowed down. And your back is bowed. And you don't have stamina. And you cannot stand and look at the future and say, Hey, I'm a man of the future. All those past discouragement and past inability past fears and past anxiety and worries i cancel them from your life in jesus name drop your sickness here before you go drop your fears here before you go drop the oppression here before you go rise up and move on to the future rise up and move on to succeed Rise on and go and pass your exam. Rise up and go and get the new certificate. Rise up and go and build the new house. Rise up and go and get the new job. Rise up and go and win your award. Lord, I pray every sin of the past we cancel it in Jesus' name. The blindness you carried here, I command now, you open your eyes and you begin to see into the future. The paralysis and the weakness in your bones you got here, I command now, all the paralysis to vanish away in Jesus' name. Lord, this is the year of release. It's the year of jubilee. It's the year of freedom. And I pronounce your freedom, your liberty, your deliverance, your healing, your success, your progress, even now, in Jesus' name. Enemies will not stop you. Weakness will not stop you. Your own past inability will not stop you. The Lord is holding your hand. The promises of the Lord are going with you. The power of the Lord is going with you. The anointing of the Spirit is going with you. The name of Jesus is going with you. And all the possibilities of faith, they are going with you. You will leave your mountains behind here. You will leave your problems behind here. Now, no chain tying your leg. You will walk into success. No oppression depressing your brain. You will walk your way into victory. There is no weakness that is holding you down. You will walk your way into being an overcomer. Now you are more than a conqueror. Now you are more than a conqueror. Now you are more than a conqueror. All the negative thoughts and the negative idea. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cut it away from your mouth. And I put upon you, I transfer to you the spirit of Caleb. The spirit of Caleb. And I pray for every one of you, the spirit of Caleb to come upon you in Jesus' name. Every morning when you wake up now, you are well able. Every week when you begin the week, now you are well able. Every destination, good destination you want to go now, you are well able. And I pray that this spirit of Caleb will be with you till the end of time. And then finally, that heaven, that glorious heaven, father's house in paradise the new jerusalem you will be there satan will not stop you 
Sin will not stop you. Self will not stop you. The glorious home of the saints. When time is over, after you have achieved everything here on earth, happy man, happy woman, happy boy, happy girl here on earth, and then the doors of heaven will open. You will see Jesus standing and waiting for you. And he will say, welcome, welcome, welcome. You will be there in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, this new road, this new way, and this new stage of life, we will never quit, we will never leave each in Jesus' name. Confirm everybody here now as a victor, as an achiever, as a conqueror. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name.